Hello, my friends. This is Mary. Welcome back to Cards TV. I've been shopping my stash again, and I found this cute little paper pad that I don't think I've ever used. If I have, I've only used it once. But it's from Cartabella, and it's called Snow Fun. And I thought this would be perfect to do a card for New Year's. So let's take a look at some of these papers in here. It's all about snow. These are double-sided. Got some beautiful blues and reds and a little touch of yellow here and there. Look at those cute snowmen. There's some pretty snowflakes. There's a little snow globe with houses and snowmen, some stripes. Just really cute papers. Here's some kids doing some downhill skiing. They look like they're having fun. So we're going to use some papers from this pack today. I also found another set of stamps that I got in one of those card magazines that you get that has a free gift. They're from the UK and they always put a free gift in there, which is so much fun to get that. You get the great magazine and a free gift too. Love that. This one is really cute. I think this set was called Nordic Fun, something like that. But you can see we've got a sweater, a polar bear wearing a sweater. He's so cute. Here's a sweet little fox down here, and he's got a scarf around his neck. We've got two little houses, which is what we're going to be using today. We've got a mug, and it must be hot chocolate because it's got marshmallows in it. We've got this curvy little scarf with some curvy uh, stamps to go in it. We've got warmest wishes with love in your new home on your birthday and you warm my heart. And then we've got some cute little hearts over here. This one has some stitching like it would go in a sweater. So like I said, we're going to be using these two little houses on this card today. So I'm going to pull out some papers from this pack and get these little houses stamped and we're going to color them and we're going to put together a really quick new year's card so meet me back over here in a second guys here are the papers i pulled from that cute little paper pad i've got a solid red this one with all these cute little houses on it then i've got a red and white polka dot and this uh, blue and white stripe that's got all these tiny little snowflakes on it. So I went ahead and cut those papers to go on my A2 card base. This is four and a quarter by five and a half when folded. And first we're going to put down that solid red mat. This is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Then I cut this cute little paper with all the houses on it at four by five and a quarter. Then this striped mat I cut at two and a quarter by four inches and that's going right down here at the bottom. And I wanted to put a border across here but I wanted it to be scalloped. So, I went to my Just Because Cards cartridge, and there is a little scallop border right there. I cut that at 4 inches, and that is on page 42. And it cuts it exactly at 4 inches. So, I'm going to get that adhered right there to hide that seam where the papers come together. I'm loving how that looks. That's so cute. I'm going to grab my glue and get this adhered down. And several of you have asked me what kind of glue am I using now. I'm using Barely Art glue. I really love this. It's really good glue and it gives you lots of wiggle time <laughs> to move your papers around and make sure they're straight. So I'm going to use that and get this put together. Okay, here's my card base all put together. Now y'all know I like to use some kind of shape. To put my image on and normally I would use elegant edges but while I was cutting out this little border I noticed on this same page number 42 in the just because cards cartridge there was an oval so I thought I might as well use that instead of pulling out another cartridge so I cut a red oval 
at two and a quarter inches and a white oval at two inches and I took my little stamp of the houses and went ahead and stamped it on here and my sentiment from our house to yours and to color my little houses I used my Spectrum Nord Tri-Blend Markers. I used Ice Blue Blend in the light shade for the little blue house. The red house I used Dark Red Blend in the light red. And then for the chimneys I used the uh, Dark in the Dark Red Blend. And I used the light for the little hearts on that little house. I'm going to get these adhered together and get these put right here on the front of my cart and then I'm gonna stamp the inside and my little New Year's card will be done okay y'all here's my finished card I didn't pop anything up everything's just down flat it's just a cute plain little card that says from our house to yours on the front and then on the inside I just stamped Happy New Year I think it turned out really cute and I know I'm gonna be able to make Lots of these to send to all my friends and family who I did not get a Christmas card out to. I was very bad this year. Santa won't bring me anything, I'm sure. <laughs> well, guys, thanks so much for coming by today. I hope you enjoyed making this little card with me. And I love you all. God bless you all. I wish you all a very merry blessed joyous Christmas with your friends and family and I'm going to try to get back here either on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day and we're going to make a birthday card guys we got a new year coming up and a whole new year of birthdays thanks again guys I will see you again soon with another card bye now <laughs>